So, today I'm sharing how I modeled Pachita from Chainsaw Man. I started with the cube and added a subdivision surface modifier, followed by a mirror modifier to start shaping the body. Using the same technique, I started modeling the limbs, creasing the bottom edges to define the paws. Then I duplicated the front limbs and reshaped them to be the limbs in the back. I used two small subdivided cubes to be the base of the snout, deleting one of the faces to make it look connected to the body. I started with chainsaw using shift T to crease some edges. Then I reshaped the snout to fit with the chainsaw. I extruded the faces on the back of the body to create the tail. After that, I created the handle on top of the body. With this part done, I duplicated it, deleted the mirror modifier and positioned it to become the back handle. I kept extruding and adjusting the tail and then I used the knife tool to make a hole in the middle. I closed the gaps with the shortcut F and reshaped the hole into a triangle. Finally, back to the chainsaw, I select every other face along the shape, extruded them and manually shaped them into asymmetrical triangles. In the end, I intruded the middle faces of the chainsaw with a knife tool's help. In 3D Painter, I started by adding a base color to everything with the help of black masks, followed by drawing the eyes and the mouth with the brush tool. Then I added a dirt generator to give the model a rusty texture, followed by a position generator for a soft gradient and a baked lighting stylized filter for some highlights. In the end, I picked the brush tool again and tried to hide some seams by painting on a layer over everything. Back in Blender, I added an outline using a solidify modifier and started posing the model with the help of the proportional editing mode. I imported the texture back in 3D Painter to fix some weird spots and also changed the directions the eyes were looking. I imported the new texture back to Blender and added teeth to the model. After UV unwrapping them, I positioned the UVs in the white part of the texture and also added a glow to the eyes with the brush tool in the texture paint tab. And here is the final result. If you want to see more of my work in the future, feel free to subscribe to my channel and if you want to see me model more anime cats, check out this video here.